Greetings. This is Z, aka Mickey. OneNote is a program that is now available across platforms for Windows, Apple, and Android devices. One way to think about OneNote is to see it as your ultimate binder, your ultimate high-tech binder that has a lot of technical features but at the same time is very intuitive. I've created a OneNote binder or notebook that is tailored for academic researchers and writers. It's somewhat more geared to student scholars, but it's quite easy to adapt it to established professors, researchers, and writers as well. In this video, I display some of the tabs and sections and pages that I've created in this baseline academic researcher's OneNote binder, if you will. If you decide to download the binder, you can customize, tailor, and tweak it to your own needs. Delete sections, add sections, pages, subsections, categories, however you like. There are already videos out there that do a great job of going over all the functionality that OneNote provides, so I'm not going to do that here. What I will do is briefly just read through this list of some of the features that really make this useful. Then what I'll do is, in silence, just kind of click through the tabs and the section groups so that you can see what's available. Before I get started, I'll just note that if you looked at Devon Think and were impressed by the functionality of it but it didn't quite vibe with you or the learning curve was too steep or you didn't appreciate the user interface, Microsoft OneNote is a great alternative. When you pair this with your tablet, um, which affords handwriting and inking, it's a really, really powerful tool for, ac for academic researchers and writers, for students in general. Also, if you've been using Evernote and have just been kind of frustrated by the, some of the lack of features or just, um, just some of the inability to do certain things, you might check out Microsoft OneNote. In my opinion, um, if I have to choose between DevonThink, Evernote, and OneNote, it's OneNote hands down, no brainer. But to each his own. <laughs> All right, so quickly about OneNote. As I mentioned, OneNote is now available for Windows, Apple, and Android devices. You can use it on your iPad. You can use it on your uh, Android tablet. Uh, it's, it's pretty phenomenal. It syncs to the web. So what you do on your desktop version or your tablet version, um, it just syncs and updates automatically and stays in tune. So that's a really nice benefit. There's a video here that uh, is about mm, 25 minutes or so in length that really just goes into detail um, about how OneNote works. For those who are already acclimated to OneNote, you might want to start at the timestamp 17 uh, minutes and 44 seconds. That's when it gets into some of the deeper, more advanced features and tips. Just briefly, some of the things that you can do in OneNote. As I mentioned, it basically mirrors a, not just a notebook, but really just a binder that you would be able to um, collect notebooks in. Some of the things you could do, automatic versioning of pages, tagging of content in OneNote, and searching by those tags password protecting of tabs and sections, dragging and dropping into OneNote, adding screen clips to OneNote, printing to OneNote via the OneNote printer, so anything that's printable can be printed to OneNote. There's OCR recognition, which means that when you add a photo or a document, uh, an image to OneNote, the text is readable and searchable by OneNote deep searching across notebooks in one notebook or in one section including boolean searching so you can search for a word and another word or a word or another word and use of quotation marks to search for exact wording searching for words in audio and video notes so that's pretty astonishing if you just create a video or create an audio note or uh, drop one in to one note if you want to search the actual discussion in that audio note or in that video note, you can. It'll it'll search. That text is searchable. The talking is searchable. That's pretty phenomenal. 
Um, there's inking that you can do and handwriting recognition and you can turn your handwriting into text just instantly. It's pretty good. Nesting of notebooks, sections, and groups. So I can have this section and group here, but then when I click on it, I can do some more nesting of more sections and groups. So that's pretty useful. Notebook sharing in real time collaboration with others. So you can share your notebook with others, and as they type, you'll see their typing, and as you type, they'll see your typing. File attachment you can attach any file anywhere to a OneNote page. You can dock OneNote to the desktop um, and use it side by side, and it'll kind of track what you're looking at if you like. You can turn that feature on, and much, much more. OneNote is a really powerful, robust tool. The learning curve is not that bad, especially if you use the videos that are available um, at YouTube and at Microsoft site. And also if you add your OneNote add-ins of choice, it really gets really powerful. So now, now that I've gone over OneNote, I'll just click through in silence some of the tabs that I've included in this baseline uh, binder for academic researchers and writers and um, like I said you can tweak these once you download it, delete, change the titles, remove pages, etc. Also feel free to pause the video if you'd like to read any of these descriptions. That's basically an overview of everything that's included. If you're interested in obtaining this baseline notebook so that you can tweak it and customize it for your own use, please visit the blog, the blossoming fledgling researcher.wordpress.com. The link is available there and you can download it. As always, thanks so much for watching. Take care. Happy writing.